bombers are closing in, sir. We can zoom in on the target if you wish. If I wish? By all means. <laughs> Palace to Amman Commander. Is the video feed from the escorts online? The potentate would like to monitor mission progress and get an enhanced view of the target, please. Uh, what a wonderful sight. Yes, yes it is. I must say, Suhail, these fighter bombers, they, they appear huge. No, they are immense. They're referred to as EPCs, or enhanced payload capables. The landing gear is extremely tall, allowing room for just about any ordinance. Oh, you're referring to the bomb underneath? Yes, sir. Yes, it looks massive. Too large to be carried internally, sir. It's four and a half feet in diameter and 11 feet long, and weighs 15,000 pounds. Is that so? Mm. It's carried on what we call an underbelly centerline station. Uh, tell me, Suhail, what exactly is it we are serving up today? <laughs> well, the Americans used to call these Big Blue 82s. They're concussion bombs. 80% of their weight is made up of a gel consisting of polystyrene, ammonium nitrate, and powdered aluminum. Oh, I assume the power is commensurate with the size? Excellency, nothing but a nuclear weapon will generate more explosive power. And what happens to those on the ground when the uh, big blue comes knocking? <laughs> well, the bombs are designed to detonate just a few feet off the ground and generate a thousand pounds of pressure per square inch. The intent is to kill everything, even creatures below ground, in an area as large as 2,000 acres. The mushroom cloud alone will rise more than a mile. Yes, we are dropping two of them, plus a missile. Yes, that's correct, sir. I see. I am uh, assuming there will be fire. Your Highness, each concussion bomb creates a fireball 6,000 feet in diameter. <laughs> Every living thing in the area. Vaporized, sir. Oh, very nice, mm. Suhail. Excellency, they're approaching the drop zone. Mm. Very soon, then. Oh, good, good, good. Ah, Suhail, how quickly can we get this on television? You mean to the world? Yes, yes, I want everyone to see. Uh, I'm sure it's just a matter of a few seconds. Do it! Do it now! Oh, what a unique opportunity for the world to view the extermination of its nemesis, one Mr. Ben Judah. Based on The Remnant, the tenth book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents episode 109 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. But uh, I gotta take off. What? I gotta get to the airport, which is that way, and y'all gotta get to Ptolemy and find the co op, which is uh, that way. Okay. Which you two is gonna be driving? I will. All right then. You know, those uniforms make you two look like a couple of what we used to call wax. Of course, that was before your time. Hey, Mac, there's nobody on this road. How don't gonna... worry about me. Somebody will be along. Now, you kids got everything memorized? You know how many times you've asked us that? A repetition, ladies. Give me your name tags without looking. In Virginia, New Delhi. Good, and? Chloe Irene from Montreal. Reporting to? Mac, we've been over this. Humor action. me. Senior Commander Howie Johnson of Winston-Salem. You're now the ranking GC officer in Greece, and if anybody doubts it, they can check with the pilot. Well, all right then. Sidearms? Yep, yeah, yeah, all set. All right, now we hear this Cronus guy or maybe somebody in his circle has more firepower. We'll need to tap into that. Yeah, I still say the co-op people are going to clam up when they see our uniforms. Show them your marks, sweetie. Show oh, them your marks. Hang on, turn that up. The insurgents are responsible for the deaths of countless GC ground troops and for commandeering unknown numbers of tanks and armored carriers. Global Community Security and Intelligence Director Suhail Akbar has announced that two warheads have been dropped simultaneously to be followed by a missile launched from Resurrection Airport in Amman. Oh, no. The expected Dad. result is total annihilation of the rebel headquarters and its entire personnel force. Hail Carpathia. Yeah. Hail Carpathia. We all but knew this was coming. 
Well, either you got faith or you don't. Okay, that's easy to say sitting here. We're about to lose four people from the trip force and all the Israelis we promised to protect. Chloe, I'm not taking it lightly, but we've got a job to do here, and this is no safer than any mountain with a couple of bombs headed towards it. And you need to keep your wits about you, you hear? Yeah. Uh, listen to me. We won't know what happened at Petra till we hear it from our people. You heard the GC cooking the story about their own forces. We know for sure there's only a million people in Petra. Only? That they just said yeah. several million. And armed? No. And did we knock off GC forces? Your old man wouldn't let us. And what about commandeering yeah, I know, trucks Mac, and tanks? I know. It's just that I My can't... point is all GC news is subject to review. Okay? Now, let's not lose track of why we came all this way. You may have to fight. You may have to defend yourself. Maybe even kill somebody. Okay? It is time to focus. Well, if it's kill or be killed, I'm way past ready to pull the trigger. Right, easy, Hannah. Hey, hey, I'm just saying, this is war. You think they won't kill Sebastian? Maybe they already have. And I'm not counting on finding this Stavros girl alive. Then why are we here? <sighs> just in case. Um, unfortunately, that is about the size of it. All right, now, our phones are secure. Keep the solar receptors exposed during the day. Come on, Mac, give us a little credit. We leave here with Sebastian, then we can talk about credit. There's a car coming. Yeah, we leave here with Sebastian, it'll be a miracle, and we all know who gets the credit on those. Yeah, I'll run along now. Keep in touch, you hear? Take care, Mac. And we will Where's Mink? She should see this. Last I saw her, she was checking on Kenny. That was a few... Oh, my. What do you make of this bomb? I have no idea. You think it's real? Well, who needs to stage anything these days? Then there's a lot of people in there that we know. I feel like a traitor, sitting here, watching it on television. I wonder if Chloe knows. Her dad's in there. We're watching a million people die right before our eyes. And the leadership of the trip force. That will be followed by a Lance missile launched from Amman. Do you believe this guy? It's not enough to massacre a million people and destroy one of the most beautiful cities in the world. He's chasing it with a missile. Ah. Leah, I'm sorry. Could you go get Ming? Yeah. And if Kenny's not asleep, bring him to me and, and see about Enoch. Tell him we're all getting together at daybreak. Well, I don't know what for. Pray, I guess. We have been praying. I believe it's time to reload. They say your life flashes before you. This doesn't look good, Captain. I wonder if we'll even know when it hits. It'll be quick, that's for sure. Probably be vaporized. Might see a flash of light. I keep thinking that Dr. Ben Judas said this place would be protected. Yeah, he believed we'd be safe. And with what happened to the GC military, you think? Parachutes. Parachutes? <laughs> What's that all about? Keeps the bombs from burying themselves in the ground. <laughs> Great. Also delays the inevitable. <laughs> Not long enough. Only a few more seconds, sir. The bombs are almost at the target. Oh, imagine their horror as they watch death come closer. Oh, this is the moment I have waited for. Ah, look! Oh, perfect! On target! Both of them! Congratulations, Excellency. Ha! The best revenge is success. Absolutely. And victory. Yes, sir. Total and complete. Yes, sir. Tons! 
tongues of fire shooting out of my finger. <laughs> Can you believe it? We are surviving. We are living through this, through this attack. And we're not alone. We are in the firing fight. You're right. We're a million Shadrads, Meshachs, and Abednegoes. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Praise God. Oh, God. <laughs> Total annihilation. <laughs> Quite appropriately, your lordship. Your enemies become fewer every day. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Negative Saber 3. I'm on command. Maintain launch sequence. Repeat. That's another negative three. Saber two, return to base. Saber three, remain in position for visual feed. Then you may want to stay awake. Palace out. Was I hearing things? Or did he dare cross you? He came right to the edge, Excellent. Reprimand him! This cannot be tolerated. Unfortunately, it is the ample ego of the combat pilot that makes him so valuable. In this case, he's convinced his portion of the mission has gotten the job done, and that anything else would be overkill. I consider nothing overkill when it comes to Ben Judah and his little ragtag bunch. You understand me, Suhail? I do, Excellency. I do. Good. I do not know when God will lift the curtain of fire and we will be able to see the sky again. I do not know when or if the world will know that we have been protected. For now it is enough that we know! Please, please, please listen, please! When the evil one and his counselors gather, they will see us on whose bodies the fire had no power. The hair of our heads was not singed, nor were our garments affected, and the smell of fire was not on us. Perhaps they will not allow the rest of the world to know it, but God will reveal himself in his own way and in his own time. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God, who leads you by the way you should go. Declare, proclaim this, Utter to the end of the earth that the Lord has redeemed his servants, and they did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He caused the waters to flow from the rock for them. He also split the rock, and the waters gushed out. Look at, look at, look at. What is it? It's water. It's water. God is doing it again. He said the water went fire.
I had hoped we could parade his body in the street, but you cannot have everything. Your Excellency, I will personally go to the site and recover ashes. Shh, shh, for... Listen! So, Hale, uh, turn that up! Come on, this is the palace. Cut the feed immediately. Leon, leave us. Yes, Excellency. Suhail, two of our largest incendiary bombs. You said one was more than enough. It should have been. We saw the flames. We, we watched them burn. Did we not? How long did they burn? Long enough. Listen to me. Suhail. Yes, sir. Are you listening? I am, sir. Deal with those pilots. They missed. They failed. Their eyes deceived them. Do not allow this victory to go to the Judahites. Do not! I understand, sir. Then, uh, contact the other nine regional potentates, personally, on my behalf. Tell them the Judahites have raised arms against us and have dealt a severe blow. We shall retaliate. We shall, sir. But the time is now. The budget is limitless. I will sanction, condone, support, and reward the death of any Jew anywhere in the world. I want this done as a top priority. By any means, you imprison them, torture them, humiliate them, shame them, blaspheme their God, plunder everything they own. Nothing is more important to the potentate. Do you understand? I do. Go, quickly! Do it now! And send Leon back in. Yes! 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 <laughs> Did you see that? They survived. They survived. I can't believe it. Oh. Dr. Ben Judah was right after all. God did keep him safe. Oh, Zeke, he sure did. Oh, this is great. Hey, Leah, did you find Ming? Does she know any of this? Uh, she's gone. But... <laughs> you mean downstairs. Well, tell her to let Enoch's people sleep. Enoch's Come people on won't be sleeping now. Not after all the hooping and hollering going no on. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> she's not downstairs. <laughs> she's gone. She left a note. What? Her brother told her something about her parents. Where's and Kenny? Sleeping. He's fine. Now listen. Chang told her something about her parents, and she's determined to get to them. Oh, what? Oh, man. Huh. Did she say something to you, Zeke? No, but I should have seen it coming. I, I just finished her stuff this morning. I, I cut her hair, all that. Her papers are the best I've ever done. I made a guy out of her, you know. I, I mean, not really a, a guy. I just made... You know what I'm talking about. Showed her how to walk like a guy, how to slouch, that kind of stuff. Huh. Well, what name is she using? Her brother's. Um, Chang. Last name Chow. I had no Good. idea she was going to hightail it out of here. Well, that's not your fault, Zeke. Don't worry about it. How long has she been gone? Maybe we can catch her. Buck, she's an adult. A widow. If she wants to go to China, you can't stop well, how her. How long do you think we're safe here with everybody running around the streets whenever they feel like it? Chang's already told us the palace is starting to suspect something here, and it won't be long before somebody comes snooping around. She probably didn't tell you what she was doing because she knew you'd try to talk her out of it. Well, I might have tried to help Leah get her a ride, something. Yeah, like you were going to arrange for a plane and a pilot. You are not being helpful here. Helpful would have been to send Albie with her. I didn't know she was going. Well, now you do. I I'm willing. It's just We that... can't spare you, Albie. Thank you. Anyway, your cover's blown, and we don't have a new one for you yet. I can take care of that inside 24 hours. No, Zeke. Imagine if she gets found out. They discover she's AWOL from Buffer, connect her with her brother, and bam, he's history. That'll pretty much do us in! And, and how in the world is she going to sound like a guy? She's got that soft, delicate voice. Not when she was barking orders at the prison. Well, then she better be barking all the way to China! It's heaven. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, Rayford, I understand why people rejoice in this deliverance. Mm -hmm. But why do others grieve? 
Are they unbelievers? Uh, if they are, how did they survive? <laughs> I don't understand. Is it important to know who is protected and who is not? Uh, I really don't know. But uh, there's a guy who can probably my answer that question. My, my friends, <laughs> please, please listen, please. I know you are excited. And I want you to know that I have agreed to stay at least a few days to worship with you and to thank God together. My friends, please, please, friends, listen. Ah, the water subsides. Please, pay close attention. Some of you weep and are ashamed, and rightly so. Over the next few days, I will minister to you as well. For while you have not taken the mark of the evil one, neither have you taken your stand with the one true God. He has foreseen in his mercy to protect you, to give you yet one more chance to choose him. Many of you will do that, yet many of you will remain in your sin, risking the hardening of your heart. But you will never be able to forget this day, this hour, this unmistakable and irrefutable evidence that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob remains in control. Oh, Highness, I do not know what to say. I cannot understand it. What My went... dear, most high reverend Fortunato, how may I serve you, Paul? Kiss my hand. I kneel before you. Be still and hear me. Are you still my most trusted devotee? I am, sincerely. Leon, do you love me? No, I do. Do you cherish me with all my... Do you worship me? Oh, my beloved... Stand up, Leon, and hear me. My enemies mock me. They perform miracles. They poison my people. Call sores down on them from heaven. Turn the seas into blood. And now... And now they survive bombs and fire. But I too have power. You know this. It is available to you, Leon. I have seen you use it. I have seen you call down lightning that slays those who would oppose me. By your might, Excellency. Ah, Leon, I want to fight fire with fire. I want Jesus. Us. Do you hear me? Sir? I want messiahs, saviors in my name. Uh, tell me more, Excellency. You find them. Thousands of them. Train them. Raise them up. In, imbue them with the power with which I have blessed you. I want them healing the sick, turning water to blood and blood to water. I want them performing miracles in my name, drawing the undecided, yea, even the enemy away from his God and to me. I will do it, Excellency. Will you? I will if you will empower me. Kneel before me again. Lay your hands on me, Risen One. I confer upon you all the power vested in me from above and below the earth. I give you power to do great and mighty and wonderful and terrifying things. Acts that will persuade all who see that I am God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Excellency. Go, Leon. Go quickly. I send you out to do my bidding. Go! Left Behind the dramatic audio series is based in part on the book The Remnant by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. Adapted for radio by Chris Fabry. Music by Steve Wick. Sound design by Glenn West. Directed and produced by Todd Busteed. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening.